We'll begin our questions tonight on a subject that I think most anyone would agree is the biggest one facing Waukesha, and that is the question of water and how to secure a clean, reliable supply by a deadline of 2018. Our two candidates have expressed, articulated uh, different visions for Waukesha's water future, and I would like to direct the first question of the evening on the subject to Mayor Nelson. Mayor, Mr. Streamer has expressed opposition to an application for Lake Michigan water because the city would lose its ability to control its future. In a purchase of water from Milwaukee, Mr. Streamer has said that a Milwaukee Common Council resolution shows the city's intent to dictate business, jobs, housing, and transit in Waukesha. Mr. Nelson, how do you address that concern, and what does the Milwaukee resolution ask or require of a new suburban customer? Well first, of, well, first of all, I would point out that my position on water is not my position alone. It was reached after eight years of study and collaboration with our water utility general manager, Dan Dukniak, who is widely considered to be one of the best water experts in the state, working with a panel of, of 32 experts that determined that Lake Michigan and uh, was our best option, the most cost-effective and environmentally sustainable. I would note in his opening statement that my opponent has changed his position from saying absolutely no to Great Lakes water to now saying that it's an option. I don't know of anybody else that is saying after eight years we should slow down. I believe in talking to the members of my common council that they understand the urgency of moving forward on April 8th to explore this option. If that vote happens, we then have three serious alternatives, Milwaukee, Racine, and Oak Creek. Uh, my opponent on Friday before the Southside Business Council unfairly attacked Dan Dukniak and said Racine and Oak Creek were not serious options. That is untrue we will be talking to all three communities. In terms of Milwaukee, I have collaborated with Dan Dukniak and met with 12 of the 15 aldermen. The vote to sell water to New Berlin was 12 to three. And what the council members said to me to try to make peace with the three people who were negative, they passed this resolution that simply calls for a report on what we're doing with housing and transit and economics, and it's simply that. In no way will our independence or sovereignty be questioned, because I guarantee you our city administrator, Lori Luther, Dan Dukniak, collaborating with myself, we will never negotiate a contract that is not in the city's best interest. And the ultimate deciders are the Waukesha Common Council. I do think it's possible to come up with a win-win solution that will be good for Waukesha and will be good for Milwaukee. But if not, we have opportunities with Racine and Oak Creek. I should point out that the 15 communities that buy water from Milwaukee, including three in Waukesha County, have no strings attached, have not lost their independence, have not lost their sovereignty. I think it's the worst kind of politics to play fear with this issue and scare people when we've been working for eight years to find the best long-term solution. And I, the majority of citizens that I've talked to agree with those of us that have this position. Thank you. Mr. Screamer has a minute to uh, respond. The Milwaukee Common Council did pass such a resolution um, in 2008. I'm just going to quote from a journal article written by Patrick McDuran. Um, he says that the Milwaukee resolution will examine Waukesha's tax rates, poverty rate, whether it's shown the right attitude about joining the regional transit authority before selling a drop of water. This all suggests Screma is justified in his suspicions. When the city prepared to sell water to New Berlin, its leaders openly discussed how much they would tack on to the price for the temerity of living outside Milwaukee's boundary, boundaries. Right now they charge New Berlin 25% more than their own citizens, by the way. To continue the quote, two years ago the Common Council held up a renewal of Menominee Falls water deal in a fit of resentment. 
Two decades ago, Waukesha County communities that joined the regional sewerage system were shafted by a scheme that distributes costs of the basis of wealth rather than sewer use. The bottom line is that whoever controls the faucet will control our future. Remaining on the subject of water, a question for Mr. Screamer. A 2002 study by city consultants and a 2008 study by the Regional Planning Commission eliminated consideration of the Fox River and Waukesha Quarry as a reliable long-term source of drinking water that could be used in combination with wells. Among the reasons, both the quarry and the river would be vulnerable to pollution. Both the river and the quarry would require separate treatment plants if used for drinking water. <coughs> Mr. Screema, you have said the river and quarry should be used by the city as part of a future water supply rather than turning to Lake Michigan. Why should the previous studies be disregarded? And can you identify any water experts that would support your stance? Um, first, I'd like to just step back a little bit and give everyone the history uh, of, of why we're where we are right now. Around 20 years ago, uh, the EPA uh, discovered how to measure radium, and they determined that it was a problem. Okay, when the local communities here uh, were made aware of that, a number of the communities immediately sought solutions. The city of Pewaukee, for example, started to build the infrastructure to blend shallow and deep well water because they saw this was a problem that needed to resolve to be resolved, and they have resolved it. The city of Waukesha, on the other hand, thought they could fight the EPA. So for years and years, the city foolishly went to Washington, D.C. and tried to fight the EPA. You can't fight the EPA. During that same time, Sewer PAC, the Southeastern Wisconsin Regional Planning Commission, who oversees the seven-county area, saw that Waukesha was having a problem in resolving the, the radium issue. They also saw that Milwaukee had significant financial problems. So their goal has been, and they're the ones that really started this, is to blend the problems. And it makes sense, that's their mandate. They plan the entire region. You know, how about Milwaukee sell Waukesha water, and Waukesha can help pay for Milwaukee's uh, financial problems. So that's what really set this in motion. Um, from the beginning of the current mayor's time in office, he was very open about his enthusiasm to become one with Milwaukee and purchase water from Milwaukee. And I'd be happy to share that documentation with you if you're interested. The, the way the city structure is here in Waukesha is the mayor appoints every member to the water utility, utility and also sits on the water utility. And over the last three to four years, the water utility has spent almost a million dollars in exclusively pursuing Milwaukee water to the question regarding the rivers and the quarries. Hundreds of cities around the country use rivers for their drinking water. They use water reservoirs for their drinking water. The, the studies never looked at combining uh, three or more of our own resources. Sure, you can say the river alone won't do it. I question that. I go to the Barstow Street Bridge, I see the amount of water that flows over the dam. It's a lot of water. But maybe the river alone won't do it. Uh, the quarry, perhaps, alone won't do it. But it's the co combining three or more resources, perhaps a combination of the river, quarry, deep wells with radium removal devices, and shallow wells, and further conservation, that would provide us an adequate supply for our future growth. Thank you. Government agencies, scientists, geologists, and engineers have studied Waukesha's water supply issues for decades have concluded that Lake Michigan is the safest and most sustainable source of water for Waukesha. My opponent disagrees. Whose judgment do you trust? Waukesha County Exec Varakis and his staff, the Waukesha County Chamber of Commerce is part of a sustainable water coalition that supports this solution. Sewer PAC has been criticized in Milwaukee as being too anti-Milwaukee and I encourage people to look at the history. What you've just been told is fiction, not fact. The city has been working on this for years. Uh, I noticed my opponent did not mention that the quarry option has been studied with multiple other sources, and the facts are it would cost $32 million more, as well as it's susceptible to contamination by runoff 
and lies next to contaminated property. The quarry offers neither a cost-effective nor a permanent solution for Waukesha. And my opponent's editorial where he says they're a conspiracy is simply false. We're doing what's best for the city.